What's up, family? Peace and love. All the black people, all the melanated people out there. You know, today we're going to hit on the subject about clones. You know what I'm saying? We're going to title this one, Believe It or Not, Cloning. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit going on now. People coming out, saying that they clones and even just acting weird, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know that they clones or they're not really speaking the same way or talking the same way, the same mannerisms, the same tones, not even the same tattoos, same body, you know what I'm saying? But we're just going to hit on the subject real quick then see what y'all think about it, all right? So first off, we're going to start with this Kanye thing. Since Kanye is big in the news, everybody talking about Kanye and Donald Trump <clears throat> and all this other things that's going on, how he's a, a coon and I guess sucking the devil dick basically, you know what I'm saying? But that's what he's been programmed to do. So no stand-up man in his right mind is going to have the courage to out the President of the United States about not caring about black people in the middle of a, a tragedy, you know, Hurricane Katrina, when he said George Bush doesn't care about black people, but now he wants to get up under Donald Trump and be a, what I call, you know, a, I guess a liberal coon or whatever you call it. So, um, but that's just far left for that man, you know what I'm saying, to be this extreme and this heartfelt about a topic and, you know, certain people and then to be turning 360 and be another way, you know what I'm saying? So it's a, definitely some MK Ultra mind control or something going on there, which is also a form of cloning, you know, cloning his mind. <clears throat> so everybody that's talking about Kanye, you know what I'm saying, that's not really Kanye, you know what I'm saying, even if it is the body of this man, or it's not the body of this man, whatever Warbatoid or the real mind control get out scenario it is, it's still not Kanye, the soul of Kanye West, you know what I'm saying, it's somebody totally different that they control it. So, moving along, we're going to talk about some more rappers that people are talking about, like, Gucci man, which, you know, that's self-explanatory. You know, he got rid of his slur or his lisp or whatever the fuck he had, speech impediment. By going to jail, he got rid of his ignorant way of thinking or accent, whatever the fuck you want to say, his country. He got rid of that by going to jail. I don't know how you do that, but hey. The Rehabilitation Center works for different people different ways. <laughs> he got rid of his tattoos, you know what I'm saying? He came out, got married, of course, to his handler, or, you know, to the person taking care of him, let's say that. So, we're going to move along to the next person, which is Kodak Black, which is not Kodak Black. But y'all already know what it is. People can't just go to jail or be missing and then come back totally different and not even associate with the same people that they associated with before they went in jail. You know, regardless of the contract that you signed or whatever it may be to stay away from the people that you know or whatever, you still gonna have some kind of contact to let them know you're all right or something like that. But when you're a clone, you don't know these people. Genuinely, you don't know these people, you know what I'm saying? And these people aren't going to know you. So, it's just how it is. So, either they're going to have to kill everybody you know, or they just got to stay away. So, the more you know. So, Rick Ross, that's another one. You know, the fat Rick Rose, that nigga dead. You got this skinny imposter with a box or some some type of hair every time you see him some you know they give you the little donald trump now you know what I'm saying niggas could fake beards and mustaches and flat tops and all type of shit now 
you know, Rick Ross has always been bald, you know what I'm saying? He just can't magically get no bosley and start growing hair after you've been shaving your shit bald for years, you know what I'm saying? It just don't happen like that. So, moving on, we're going to talk about Dave Chappelle, you know what I'm saying? So now we're talking about comedians. Yeah, we're going to move on to some comedians. We're going to talk about the obvious, you know, the, the body of Dave Chappelle, you know, from this skinny, you know, crackhead Dave Chappelle to this bodybuilder Dave Chappelle in a couple of years moving to Africa, you know, about the fountain of youth and the source of life and shit and got He-Man on us and shit. You know, every nigga need to go to Africa and we start an army, if that's the case. But every clone don't come out the same just because the sales is there, you know what I'm saying? The person is going to have the, the likeness of that person, but you will never get the authentic person that it, the clone came from. So you're going to have different shapes and sizes of these people. You know what I'm saying? They're going to give you the clone that's, you know, in the head is more acceptable to the public to pass off as Dave Chappelle. But, you know, clones don't grow hair. <clears throat> so they've never had different haircuts or different facial uh, haircuts or anything, do anything wild like that because they can't grow hair. So that's why this new Dave Chappelle has like a little drawn on rat mustache. And if you know the real Dave Chappelle, he always had that, you know, one of a kind Dave Chappelle distinguished mustache, you know what I'm saying? He just always just rocked that motherfucker. So you could tell that ain't the real Dave Chappelle. It was never no thin mustache, it was always thick. <clears throat> but he can't grow that motherfucker no more. So you'll never see that again. And he never had no more hair, you know, the, the Dave Chappelle wasn't bald. He had, you know, the stubbles, the little light fade stubbles, you know what I'm saying? He always kept it low. But now he's going to be bald for the rest of the remainder of wh whoever this dude is to the easy month, you know what I'm saying? All right, we're going to move along to um, Kevin Hart. See, I ain't know much about Kevin Hart, but my guy was telling me that uh, he was cloned in North Dakota. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, he makes mention of it uh, in Ride Along. He talks about North Dakota. And even in an interview, he came on live television. And one of the interview, uh, the interviewers asked him, like, you know, Kevin, you, you've, been doing, you've been doing a lot lately. You're here on Instagram. You're, 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 you're uh, doing co co comedy shows over here. You're doing this and that. And he basically came out and said, you know, well, I've been cloned. I've been cloned. And the way he said it was as as if he were joking, mm -hmm. but he was really being being honest. Because that's the best way to pass off, you know, be he's telling the truth. And when folks think you're joking, just say it with a smile, you know. Same way people do when they're being facetious to you, you know what I'm saying. They say something really that's really true, you know what I'm saying. But they say it, smiling at you or laughing and shit, but they mean that shit. So just like he meant that shit. He's been cloned. That's why he's going to be doing overseas tours and uh, all these other city-to-city -city tours. You, you're going to get Kevin Hart everywhere that you want Kevin Hart. You know? Exactly, because they have the Mach 1, the Mach 2, the Mach 3, and the Mach 4. Exactly. So the Mach 4 is like the Jay-Z that signed the $200 million contract overseas. So that clone will always be over there doing the shows. Like You'll never see the real Jay-Z ever go over there. Like, that's how it's set up. Right. So, with that being said, we're going to uh, skip around a little bit. We're going to move down to politicians. And this is something that's been well documented. Hillary Clinton being at two places at once. So, I don't see how you make the error, you know, saying of stretching yourself or your schedule that thing that you have to show up and be on camera at two places, you know, at the same time without trying to even it out, at least pretend like you flew the private jet somewhere and got there or teleported magically. But shit, you two places at the same damn time. Now, if you don't believe that cloning exists after seeing some shit like that, I don't know what to tell you. Some people just won't believe it, you know what I'm saying, even when it's right in front of their eyes. But cloning has been around for a long time. See, Joshua... Ledenberg, which I'm sure he was a, a Nazi scientist, I'm almost positive by the name, you know what I'm saying? 
was an advocate of cloning and genetic engineering in 1966. And it, again, the following year in the Washington Post, you know, was trying to get people to get on board with the cloning. <clears throat> so these is the Washington Post. They not just gonna print something, you know what I'm saying? Just to retract it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is something that has some kind of value to it, some kind of stand to it. So. This is some research this man was doing, and he was getting results. So, since 1966, the 1960s, they've been doing cloning research. And before that, before he was even brought to America, you know, Operation Paperclip is what gave you all the Nazi scientists that brought him over to America so that they can show this country how to clone and how to have super soldiers like they had. Because Hitler was far advanced. He was way ahead of the game. So that was a triumph for America, and America still has the resources, and still we use those same resources today. So since 1966, they've been working on cloning, or before that, they've been it's been perfected already with the super soldier program. If they show you in Captain America with Hydra and all that other shit, you know everything has some kind of history and facts to it. Believe that. So in 19 96, Steen Willistein cloned Dolly the Sheep, which was a big deal, and everybody, you know, congratulated this man for cloning this animal, which I don't really see the purpose of cloning the sheep, but, the, you know, the sheep has the same reproductive organs that a female has. So I do kind of see why they would start with a sheep. And see if that was successful first. Because white men, or Irish men, whatever you want to call them, have been fucking sheep for a long time. And they, they know that sheep can bear our seed. So that's why it's illegal to fuck sheep. <laughs> and you know, they don't make laws for no reason. They had to make that law because my brother was fucking sheep. So that's a little history lesson for you right there. Moving along, it is 2019 damn near now, and it's been 60 years damn near, so they done moved from sheep, cat, dog, cow, pig, rats, humans, food, food, everything that you have right now, probably in your household, is some kind of GMO. GMO is some kind of false filler. And it's not really what you think it is. So the movie The Matrix is the life that we live every day. And to unplug from The Matrix is to understand, first of all, who is around us and who's controlling what's going on around us. The more you understand what's going on, the more you can see clearly and understand where you're going. All right, so... We're going to talk about this um, clone aid. Okay, and clone aid is a facility, you can look this up, you know, that says it's cloned the first boy in 2013. But before 2013, they have cloned two other sets of twin girls. So, in 2013, now, the, I think the girls had some complications, but the boy they said was perfect. So they had perfected it in 2013. And so around that time, I think that's when you started seeing more of these changes of character of your favorite celebrities or your, your favorite movie actors and things like that. And you see some of your, your favorite movie actors, uh, I say like Morgan Freeman, I say Samuel Jackson, some of these old motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, that's been looking the same since I was a kid, you know what I'm saying, I know I'm getting old, so these motherfuckers down there should be dust, you know what I'm saying, but hey, they aging gracefully, black don't crack or whatever you want to call it, but when you sell your soul and get cloned, you know, you have no choice but to look the same forever. And they can clone you as many times as they want to, and you'll still look the same. 
different versions of you, different memories, different programs. All right, but Clone A believes that the human race was created by extraterrestrials, and we are all clones, and we were all cloned by these extraterrestrials. So, Clone A has the technology or has perfected what the extraterrestrials have done. So they are now creating human beings or, or life now, or replicating your life through whatever process it was that the extraterrestrials did. Now, they're not to the point where they're creating life like the extraterrestrials did, like we all have different fingerprints or anything like that, because I'm sure these clones have different fingerprints too. Each one of them may be the, look the same or sound the same, but I'm sure they are all different. <clears throat> so, when you're looking for a god or something like that, <clears throat> I'll say it's more important to look in in the right direction, you know what I'm saying? Don't just give you your faith or your, your time and effort, your energy up to anything. Do your research and understand where you're at. Understand what's going on around you. So you know who you give your energy to. You know you're praying to. You know what you're doing. You know That's all I got to say about that. So do some research on clone aid. Do some research on the cloning system and how long it's been around. And, and leave some comments, subscribe and like.